du bist hier. Das ist... Das ist super cool. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay, let's try. This is pretty empty. Hello? What do you need? That's a passport. And the green pass. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Bonjour. Passport? Uno. One. One. I'm, I'm on only one. Okay. And Get my papers and now I need to go around to that guy and let's see what happens. You know that uh, to enter Tunis you must need the voucher of hotel touristic. Not this by booking. You must need voucher, but it's paid. Not paid. By booking, not paid. I paid. That's not paid it. by booking our administration, not accept this. You need voucher, my bank, like this, voucher. So, I am at the border. That's the bike and that's the visa office where the gentleman wants the voucher, uh, which is actually an invoice from a hotel. Um, I have a receipt from my bank that I paid it uh, because my hotel charged my car. So apparently uh, they don't really have rights to ask for it, but they do. So now I'm waiting for one of my friends to come uh, with the voucher because we called the hotel. Uh, luckily, um, some people gave us internet. There are a few other people here stuck. Um, and um, um, I may be yeah, leaving the port in a few hours or something like that. <laughs> um, so far so good, you know, I mean like uh, it, it could be worse. Um, the, I, I hope that the, the hotel is actually produced the voucher, so that's gonna be fine. It just needs to get here, so you know, um, I'm not gonna pay the bribe. Um, one German guy did, and they let him go in like 10 minutes. He gave <laughs> watches to each of the guards, but uh, I think we passed that, and um, it is really just a shit show. So, after a few hours uh, waiting, um, they decided to put me back on the ship uh, while uh, Ramsey is actually coming here with the paper which they wanted because it took him quite a while and they probably just thought that I'm waiting it out. Um, so they put me back on the same ship which I arrived. I'm off the ship again. This is really interesting. Um, this was the worst border crossing I have ever done so far. And uh, that was the story of uh, traveling to Tunisia. What an adventure it was. <laughs> uh, so I have to thank everyone who helped me, especially Ramzi and Yassine, who helped me with the voucher for the immigration, uh, which was absolute help. Without them, I would not be sitting here in wonderful Jerba, right? And the co-living uh, slash co-working space called Cozy. Uh, more on that later. I really have to thank also Ashraf from Morocco uh, who put me in the contact with Ramsey in the first place. Um, without, you know, five months being stranded in Morocco in 2020, I would not meet any of those people. And that would be really sad because they're really cool guys. That's how strange life is, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's all that. I need to thank also Hotel Tiba staff and Hotel Tiba in Tunis. They helped me enormously as well with the voucher uh, Ramsey picked up. So that's it. Now, on the video you saw voucher, voucher, voucher. I'm talking about voucher, voucher, voucher. So let's do some practical information how to cross the Tunisian immigration and the border as a pro so you can just sail through it. So let's start with the dreaded voucher. This is a voucher. This is a hotel voucher from Hotel Tiba, which I got. 
And what it is, it really is not anything else than the, an invoice or slash receipt or whatever, you, how you want to call it, um, which um, has how much you paid, uh, how long you stay, where you stay and all that kind of stuff. And it's issued by the hotel itself. And I think that's what makes it a little bit of a difference for the immigration because they put more um, value on it because it's issued in Tunisia against the payment. Um, not like um, Airbnb or you know, guest houses, they may not even be able to give you this paper, um, which is the reason why the gentleman was kind of going on about the hotel touristic in the video you saw. So that's it. Um, how do you get this? Um, very, very simple. Every main, like, mainstream hotel will know what voucher is and what they need to give you. You just need to message them um, and they will be able to send you a PDF or an image which you print out and you bring it to the port because they need the papers at the port, right? The only thing is that, as I said, Airbnb, book, you know, guest houses may not be able to give it to you and also you may need to look for a prepaid booking on the booking.com so that the hotel will issue the voucher against the payment. Um, they may not be as keen to issue a voucher if you're not paid because they don't know uh, if you come or not. And they called to the Hotel Tiba to verify that actually um, I have paid. So that's the voucher. That's how you get it. And you really, really need it. The booking doesn't necessarily need to be in Tunis or the hotel doesn't need to be in Tunis. As a matter of fact, you can save a lot of money if you book here in Jerba or in Sousse or Hammamed or Sfax. They are much cheaper in terms of hotel prices. So that way you can save some money. Second thing you need is a return ticket. So effectively you need to have um, a return ticket from Tunisia and how the voucher connects to the return ticket is that the hotel booking needs to be for the whole duration of your stay. Now you're like, well, that sucks. Yes, it does. Uh, but nobody actually cares if you come to Tunisia and on paper you're leaving in four days. That's, that's it. Everything is on a the paper. They check the papers, job done. He has everything. And uh, off you go. So that's how you do it effectively. I'm here one and a half months and the leaving is always much easier than entering the country. So that's how you can do it. The only thing you need in terms of COVID is a vaccination certificate with the QR code or um, PCR slash antigen test with the QR code. Now, the certificates for vaccines don't expire in terms of Tunisia, so you can get any. Um, they don't really check the QR codes, um, so yeah. And also the regulation has been really relaxed uh, on 25th of February and 15th of February. So, yeah, that's just that. Um, so that's all what you need. You really need the vaccine certificates or test, the return ticket and the hotel booking and the voucher for the whole duration. And uh, ta-da, off you go to Tunisia. One more thing I wanted to mention is I traveled from Italy to Tunis. Uh, which was a little bit iffy at that time. Uh, the regulations were kind of strange. But if you travel from Marseille, from France, apparently, and I cannot verify this, it's easier to travel uh, because that connection has less re restrictions. And also, there's a Tunisian ferry operator called CTN. And apparently, and again, I cannot verify this, they have a similar service as Americans have on their ships when you travel down. Uh, which will sort out some of the paperwork which you get at the port on board. And that saves you so much time in terms of formalities at the port. Which brings me to customs. So customs inspection was quite thorough. Um, they checked a lot of luggage. Uh, for a lot of people, it takes hours, especially with cars. Bikes have it a little bit easier, but still it takes a lot of time. Now, what you get at the end of the customs inspection is this paper, this green paper. Don't lose that. Everyone, in terms of police, in terms of everybody, will want to see this green paper. Uh, it is effectively a permission to use your motorcycle in Tunis. 
it's valid for three months as your automatic visa and you will give it to them when you're leaving the country so yeah very important piece of green paper now for me it was quite easy because i was late because i was imported back from the deported ship um, so they were quite surprised that I'm there and uh, I was really tired so I just said I don't have any cigarettes yes I have alcohol and I just give him a bottle of alcohol and he just was so happy and sort out everything for me and all the paperwork and I just went through it um, but they do search which brings me to the point of the drones and satellite communicators and things they don't like so how it works is they will confiscate those if they find them they will give you another receipt and they will keep it and what you can do is that you can just take it uh, on the way back uh, in exchange for that receipt in theory hopefully it's there one friend has a drone there so I'm hoping that um, I'm gonna pick it up for him because we sort out the paperwork for me to have um, the permission to do so so let's see how that goes and this is probably all what you need and the process uh, in order to uh, enter Tunisia and you should come. It's a brilliant country. So see you here or somewhere on the road. <laughs>